my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are an amazing Scorpio born on November 8th, then this special birthday reading is for you. Take the messages and what resonates, whatever it doesn't, throw it out the window. Happy birthday to all of you. I sincerely hope from a few weeks ago that you were able to do something really fun and exciting, maybe uh, maybe having a relaxing time with friends or maybe trusted family members, etc., to celebrate your special day. So again, happy birthday to all of you. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on November 8th to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. The power of number nine, power of number seven, power of number two. Okay. Looks like we are going to the number 18. 18 in tarot is the moon card. You could be dealing with the Cancerian. Something here maybe about hidden emotions, deception, the mindset, dream time process, the subconscious mind. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could also be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. With the power of number one, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January and possibly a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Picking up on strong Pisces energy through the number 12. However, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. Strong Aquarius energy coming in through the number 17, which would represent the star card. And again, very strong Leo energy through the power of number 19. That would be the sun card, the most positive card in all of the tarot deck. Okay, so... We're going to see what the number 18 is bringing in for my awesome Scorpios born on November 8th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, wow, 14, cards are flipping here a little bit, 15, 16, 17, and 18, okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on November 8th, what is the overall general collective message, please? What does Scorpio need to know? We have the beautiful Ace of Swords, victory, success, clarity, and direct communication. The Ace of Swords can also talk about, as far as the seasonal time frame, the autumn time process. One of the impressions I'm getting off of this, for those of you born on the 8th, is wrapping up this year of 2023 with either feeling good about yourself or accomplishing maybe some of the smaller goals that need to be attended to. I do also feel that spirit saying, listen, don't beat yourself up if you didn't get the larger goals taken care of. Some of you are still worried about your career or your finances right now, but this is about mental clarity and or in regards to a specific person on a romantic level that they want to come in and have victory and success and also directly communicate their thoughts unto you. Okay, so... I say with the Ace of Swords, don't let anything else hold you back, Scorpio. Go after and get what it is that you want. But don't go chasing after a specific person. Keep allowing their energy frequency to come towards you, okay? 
And the way that we do that is by raising our vibrational frequency and focusing back in, putting the energy back in on ourselves. Some of you are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini. Yeah, this person, they want to see you face to face. This is about romance, victory in the romance department. Somebody here is your soulmate, could be a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, Scorpio. I've also got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming in on the bottom of the deck with the twin flame soulmate 1111 connection card, the four of wands. This can also talk about victory and success as far as having a home-based business as well. It could end up being a beautiful partnership between you and we'll say spirit to come together with all of these wonderful ideas to turn your ideas into a wonderful money-making idea, okay, to bring in residual income, additional support income, okay. So, Again, take the rules how they resonate, but I'm definitely feeling yes because of the two of cups. This is about a soulmate. You could be wondering when your soulmate is going to head in your direction. Well, for some of you, it could either be in the next two days or 60 days, okay? Because cups can represent months or days. And sometimes it can even talk about a particular hour of the day. Somebody could reach out to you during the two o'clock hour. Okay, so we're going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. I want to see what this person is thinking and or feeling. This person wants to be more than friends. So Scorpio, kind of feel like you have maybe a little bit of a secret admirer going on. Or now, wow, look at that. They're admitting on the bottom of the deck. I love you. Somebody's deeply in love with you. Bottom line. I feel like this person can't get you out of their mind and seeing 24 slash 7. They want to be more than friends now. This person admires you very deeply, Scorpio. You could have had to go through a healing process or this person was going through a healing phase on their own. They could have been dealing with a third party situation. They could have recently gotten divorced or they're going through divorce right now or they're in a healing phase. Okay, before they come together and reunite with you. In the past, they knew exactly what they were doing. Okay, so when they ghosted you, rejected you, etc. Let's go into uh, the Kipper deck. Yep, they're going to reach out. Message of concern. This person is concerned about you. <clears throat> it could be kind of like, oh my God. They finally reached out. <gasps> kind of like a little bit of a shock factor. Could feel like a little bit of a tower moment, but not in a negative way. Just more of like a revelation or like, wow. You know, it's kind of like a wow factor. This person has been in despair about you. They've been all, I'm, I'm feeling like they've been all up in their thoughts. This person could also be a dog owner. Maybe you're a dog owner. Somebody here could be 32 years of age. Somebody could have a 14-year-old teenager son and or daughter. This person could have been born on the 11th, the 2nd, and possibly maybe even the 14th of a particular month. Why is this person in despair, trusty ancestors? Why is this person in despair? Wow, they are thinking about you. I think they're thinking about the love. I think they're thinking about how you handled maybe even or possibly nurtured the relationship. But this is showing me that this person is in despair without your love. Because they know how they treated you.
feel like this person can't wait to embrace you again. Yeah, they want healing. They want reconciliation. Beautiful energy, trusted ancestors. A star card. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. A lot of water and air energy coming in. The ships are going to come in. Either this person is going to contact you in the next, for some, maybe even in the next three days or the next three weeks. The ships are coming in for reuniting with someone here. Bottom of the deck, got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming in through the Eight of Pentacles. This could talk about somebody putting in the effort to make something work here. This person has not forgotten about you, Scorpio. Or somebody new has their eye on you, but they could be going through a lot right now. I think I just, I'm hearing um, from Andy Gibb, I just want to be your everything. I just want to be your everything. I think this person recognizes and realizes what they've done. They knew exactly what they were doing. I think this person has a lot of guilt, remorse, regret. You and I were too young. Yeah, you guys could have known each other for some of you guys from the past. I mean, we're talking way back, maybe 20 plus years. But I also look at this too because there is a communication card. You and I were too young. Somebody was communicating on a very immature level. Not thinking things through. Not using their head. Feel you leaving me behind. This person could be highly fearful that you're going to move on from them forever. And even if this person in your situation has been at a distance, they can energetically feel you. Even though the two of you could be apart or in some form of separation. But, um, you know, every time I see that two of cups, I, I hear the song from Peaches and Herb, Reunited. And it feels so good. Reunited because we understood. Mm -hmm. They want to reunite with you. They want to heal the situation. And even if to you this is not a specific person, this could even be a friend or a family member, okay, um, that wants to maybe see the family come together, heal the situation, okay, and some of you are in no contact with certain family members because you had to walk away from narcissistic abuse. But this is definitely, to me, coming in on a romantic level for sure. Religious factors. You know what this card, it says, okay, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. Now, some of you could have had a difference in religious viewpoints. Okay, that could be one thing. However, a lot of times when I see the religious factors, this to me is talking about a connection that is at a soul level. But there could have been also two things about the situation with this person that was highly karmic. Karmic and or possibly toxic. Okay, so I do feel that maybe this person also thinks that, well, because Scorpio is very intuitive, like you see right through their soul, you make them face themselves, Scorpio, in the mirror. And this is the reason why that maybe this person is in some form of despair because I feel like this person could have said, wow, you, I feel like you know me better than anybody. They could have said something like that to you. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So in a new situation with a new soulmate, it's going to be safe for you to love this new person, Scorpio. However, in regards to a person from the past or somebody that you're currently dealing with right now, it will be safe for you to love them once they 
prove the action, like we saw that eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, when you physically see the real action being put forth, because when somebody's taking real action, that is the divine timing, okay? You might have felt like this person was a red flag because some of the things that they were doing were not coinciding with your vibrational frequency to make you feel so safe or so self-assured about this person. It says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And it could very well be true that this person, if they were dealing with a third party, they're seeing the red flags about that person, which is another reason why they want to retrieve back and have this union and come together. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust in yourself. To trust in yourself is also to trust in the divine higher power. Okay? You are the universe. The universe is you. You were one and the same. You are not separated from source. Go within, Scorpio. Go within. Visualize this person in your mind's eye standing peacefully in front of you and visualize either like a light white color like like swirling around them or even like a pale because i'm visually seeing a pale blue light and see their throat area opening up to bring in that vocal communication speaking their truth being able to speak even their vulnerabilities, their fears, their doubts, their worries, their concerns, but in a very gentle way. Blue is a very healing color. It's soothing. It calms the mood. Visualize this person not being hostile with you or thinking that they're going to, you know, come at you in a negative way and how they treated you because there's nothing but healing and there is a lot of blue energy going on. We have a lot of blue teal aqua turquoise even work with the um you can work with blue agate aqua aura you can work with aqua marine blue tiger's eye lapis any blue color stone can represent the throat chakra area and carry that stone place the intention in that stone if you like working with crystals if you like healing energy crystals to get that person to open up to you okay because it would end up coming in in a very organic way. Your intentions, your desires are of value and of importance. This person does want to speak up. They want to say something to you. This person sees the future, obviously. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. They want to engage with you. Spend more time with you. After they've learned some kind of hardcore lesson because they're going through some kind of despair. And I'm not saying that this person didn't leave you any in any form of despair. But again, they were deceptive. They were, you know, hiding their emotions. They weren't being their true authentic self. They didn't know how to be because, it, again, it boils down to some kind of vulnerability. If somebody has a hard time being vulnerable, a lot of times it has to do with their past. It could be because of childhood wounds, okay, or how they were raised, so, but spirit saying, please do not be downhearted on yourself. It is going to be safe for you to open up that heart chakra. If you feel like you have shut down my awesome Scorpios, start working in on the heart chakra. Keep opening it up, opening it up wide, wide, big, big, big. Okay. And don't be afraid to love again. This person I feel is going to try to come back and obviously earn your trust back. My awesome and amazing Scorpios born on November 8th. If you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. Again, happy birthday to you and until next time, take care.